breaking news. It seems a stampede of cows that have gotten onto the UVM campus, and now they've, they're overtaking it. And, and it turns out that the water towers are full of maple syrup, and they've chewed through the water towers, so now there's a flood on campus. And if you didn't think that maple syrup was enough, the lake has turned into maple syrup as well. It's an ecological disaster, and the animals are all dead. Turning so, live. Wait. Sorry, sorry, nope, we're turning. We're turning live. Turning live to two people who are on the scene. We've got Bianca and Ari who happened to be, Ari was there on the scene live in Howe Library on UVM Central Campus, and she was there to see the disaster. I don't know, man. I was just trying to do my chem homework, but over here I was trying to focus on molecules, but the molecules in front of me were turning into maple syrup. Cows were getting stuck everywhere, couldn't focus. I'm, I'm too shocked to say anything. Don't worry, Ari. Thank you. you for the assurance. Bianca, would you like to tell us a little bit about your experience? Yeah, it was happened? crazy. I was walking to my class. All of a sudden, my boots get stuck. I look down. There's six inches of maple syrup. What do I do? I try to run. I'm stuck. A cow steps on me. It stepped on me. I'm so sorry. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is terrible. Um, what, what, will we ever, what will we ever do? Wait. Hearing live. Updates are happening now. We're, we're hearing many accidents on Main Street as cars are sliding all over the place in the maple syrup. Oh, no. Oh. We're hearing many cows are getting hit by cars. Oh, God. So much syrup. <laughs> so what are you going to do? I could have eaten that. Gosh. It's so that's, true. Yeah. <laughs> that's so true. Gosh, it's like, it's like the great molasses flood all over again. Everybody get your oh, pancake goodness. batter. We've got lots to eat. Lots to eat. Mm -hmm. OK. That's all right. that's that's all from us here today at UVM at CCTV. At, yes, thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Good night. In. Hello, my name is Janice Argyle, and you are coming back to the Talk Talk Talkity Talk Late Night Talk Show. This evening, I have three college students who are going to tell me about their spring break. Please, Camille, would you start us off? I can't start you off. Um, my name is Camille. I don't really on spring break. Could you speak up first, please? Oh yeah, sorry. Um, I had a I had a really fun spring break. What did you do? Um, I just went home. Anything else, please? Um, Tell, give me some more. I hit the beach, and that's about it. All right, we're gonna move on to our next guest. <laughs> hello, hello, Denise. Hey, what did you do for spring break? Yeah, I'm definitely a normal college student and not visiting from another country. Uh, uh huh. I went down to the, your beautiful capital city of Washington, D.C. to do some tourism. F very nice. What was your favorite part? I would say definitely not the Capitol building or the Pentagon, but probably the cherry blossoms. Right, yes, the cherry blossoms are, are a beautiful part of this country that you are from. Yes, Denise. All right, would you, uh, would you mind telling us, us, we're gonna move on to the next guest. Come to the mic, please. How was your spring break? Yeah, so I'm Danny. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, I just watched some movies. Like? I don't know. Pulp Fiction. Big Tarantino fan? Not really. Mm. Yeah. Where did you find this? Why, why they're not giving me anything? Why? I don't get paid enough for this. All right. Uh, Denise, how was your spring break? Oh, oh, I'm not in college. This is just a lot of Botox. Thank you, though. <laughs> I have a great doctor. He's legal. Uh, what are you doing for Christmas break in a year? <laughs> Personally, I haven't decided that yet. Well, it's good to be a planner in this life. You don't get anywhere by, by throwing things together. <laughs> I will be having a completely normal American Christmas with all of my college friends, and we will be playing American games like beer pong and 
basketball. Um, Eric's pastime. Oh. Um, I'm probably going to get some Botox, too. Um, it's good for you. It's like a vitamin. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Denise. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in to Denise Argyle's Talk Talk, Talk to Late Night Talk Show. We're going to cut to commercial, but we'll see you later. Hey, everybody. We hope this uh, finds you guys well. We just are over here. This is the UVM Visual Radio Show. I am honored to be here with one of the esteemed women's swim team members, Havana, right here. And they just uh, made history by winning the American East tournament. Would you speak a little bit to, and her coach right here, Hope. So both of them here, it's sort of the dynamic duo. Would you mind speaking a little bit to how that made you and your teammates feel? Yeah, I mean, it was our first America East championship that our school has ever won. So we've won a That's lot. That's beautiful. Of, yeah, our, our, a lot of our other sports, basketball has done historically well here, but yeah. swimming, we're finally soccer. starting to make, yeah, soccer too. Soccer. We're finally starting to let swimming make a name for itself here at UVM. That's awesome. And how does this, uh, what does this mean for the coaching side of things? Everybody's seen the players succeed, but what about behind the scenes? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I've been doing a lot, a lot of training with them and all. We keep running our drills back and back, and everyone's getting better individually and all, and I'm really proud of every member. And how did it feel to beat UNH, oh. your rivals, for years and years and years? They've won, like, the past... I don't know, like 10 years, they're always winning, and we oh have come in third. Yeah. And so just to finally get an upper leg on them has been just the best feeling. Oh, yeah. Well, we thought it would only be fair, even though this is a UVM show, we thought it would only be fair if we're bringing in a UVM swimmer to also bring in a UNH swimmer. So I would love to invite right over here a UNH swimmer. Coming over. Bone. Thank you for coming. Oh. Oh, oh, thank you. Sorry. Thank you. No, you're 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 so generous. You're so nice. I have a bone yeah. to pick um with UVM actually. So, I want everyone to know that I actually have a butterfly tattoo. You know, like that is that's my that's what I win at. You sure. know, like I, I get it, gold. It no, 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 no. Oh, oh, okay, but you beat me in that cuz you were in lane 5. Yeah, okay. Because I went faster but than prelims. You faster stole my lucky number. No. Yeah. No. If you swim faster in the morning, you get a faster seed for finals. So You're a five you're a five hundred yard type girl. I'm more so of a butterfly girl and well, you took that away from me. Yeah, you can go. Go we ahead. Can, we can, no, 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 no. Maybe we can keep it simple here. So I can bring my coach in actually in the back. I actually coached myself from the age of five to be here right now. That's impressive. Excuse me. Maybe we could keep it a little <laughs> bit civil. Everyone needs a coach. No, you okay. You should be on my team. Oh, we're a little bit of recruitment. I can teach you some I lessons. Never, I can teach you some lessons. I can put on UVM grounds before, imagine, before I win again. Never, never again. Know, Excuse me, could we have a little bit of order so. here? We have no money, but we still beat no. you. I have money. I can beat you with that. But you don't need money to win. Let me ask you guys one question. I don't think so. Can I ask a question here? Can I ask a question? So you guys have had a relatively uh, sort of even com competition in the past decade or so, or no? I mean, How's it I mean, been, wins and losses? You because you beat me, and I don't think that's fair, actually, because I've been, I've fair. been, you. How's well, because I've been, my training. I've been coaching myself since five years old, you, so I think that I should win. You need to learn some mannerism from a coach. That's what you need. <laughs> That's what she does need. <laughs> under Do under your tutelage, to... how would it change her game, you think? You've probably been watching her, you've probably been scouting her. Yeah, what is for your sure. I don't want what, what my team, what would your oh, wait, you just reminded me. me. You just reminded me a couple minutes ago. What would your tutelage mm. do to her game, to her, to her stroke? I don't think she needs any help with her game. I think she needs help with her mannerism. Yeah. She doesn't get to it's talk all, to my team like know, that. Like, athletes, like, sports are 90% physical, or 90% oh, oh, mental oh, 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 and 10% physical. Well, who's the psych miner here? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, that's what I thought. Mental. So you're a psych miner now oh, yeah. learning. Okay, interesting. Yeah, yeah. Great. Yeah, thank you. Well, thank you, I'm thank glad. You for, thank you for listening okay. to me. I, you're welcome. Yeah, thank it's, you. I like having I like both sides here. here. Okay, well, let's not call anybody out specifically. I just oh, like oh, having oh. both sides here. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad UVM won, but I, I want to keep this a prosperous relationship moving February. forward. February? What's February mean? Champs. In a year? Next year. Oh. Oh. All right, well, uh, thank you guys for joining us here. It's been another great show. Cutting. Have a good night.